Today I'm gonna to talk about the strategy of scheduling, which is one of the most popular and familiar habit formation strategies. There's kind of a magic to the schedule. For most people, if something appears on their schedule, if it's on their calendar as an item, they're much more likely to follow through with it. And so one of the ways you could use this is just by making sure that you actually have something in your schedule for anything that you want to follow, any habit you want to acquire. So don't just say to yourself, well, I'm going to go to the gym today. You say, I'm going to go to the gym right after breakfast. Because when we decide, we're, we need energy to make a decision, and also it gives us an opportunity to make the wrong decision you know, over the long term. And so as much as you can eliminate deci decisions, the better you're able you are going to be able to form a habit. So you want to decide in advance. Well, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm going to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to practice my guitar for an hour. Because then you've decided, then you don't need to decide again. It's on the calendar, you've decided what you're going to do and how you're going to do it, and that kind of specificity is very helpful. And you can pick any kind of value and try to figure out how to make a place for it in your calendar. So for in instance, one of the things I talk about in Happier at Home is I wanted to have more time with my older daughter because she's like entering the teen years and I wanted to make sure we had fun time when it wasn't about chores or nagging or you know household stuff and so I thought well, you know if I just said to myself I want to spend more time with my daughter it would never happen it would always be like oh some next week I don't know so I'm like we need to put it on the schedule every day every Wednesday once a week I pick her up from school after school and we do something together for a few hours and I put it on the schedule it appeared on the calendar and that way I really followed through with it that became a habit this time with my daughter became a habit if it even, no matter how much I wanted to do it if it hadn't been on the calendar it wouldn't have gotten done now you might say like well what about things that you only do one time you can't put that on the calendar because they just come and go. So I have something called power hour. So for once a week, once a week for an hour, I tackle some kind of horrible nagging task that I've been putting off for months, probably years, and I spent, but so I have a habit of doing this thing at this time on the weekend, but I fill it with whatever I want. So you can pick just about anything and find a way to put it on your schedule if you take a little time. Now, a note on the Rubin tendencies as related to scheduling. Now, if you are an obliger, the fact that something appears in your schedule may not be enough for you. You may need external accountability. You may need to check in with someone. You may need to have a trainer. You may need to meet with somebody. You might have, have to have some kind of way for someone to know whether you've crossed that thing off your list. If you're just putting it on your own private calendar and nobody knows, that might not be enough for you. You need some kind of accountability for your schedule. And also, for those very few but proud rebels out there, putting something on the schedule may actually make you resist more. For a rebel, sometimes it's better not to officially put something on the schedule and to say instead, I'm gonna wake up today and I feel like running. I decided that I feel like practicing the guitar. For them, it can, if, if they encounter that spirit of resistance, even to their own schedule, that might stop them. Now, some rebels, if it's their own schedule, they don't have a problem with it because it's not imposed. But a lot of rebels really do better when they're acting from choice, when they really aren't trying to schedule things in advance. But for most people, there really is something very powerful about seeing a place for that habit repeating over and over in the schedule.